Black Nation TV. What up, Black Nation people? What's up? How you doing? What's poppin'? Jani, Abshini, Tuelang. Welcome to another episode of Sinking Tune with myself. How we're cute vocals, okay? Uh, today we have awesomeness, as per usual, hanging out with Laser Beams. HD, baby, it's 2015. Everything must be H. And um, yeah, but I think before we actually get into that interview, let's go see like what we got up to. Because you know we're always fighting out in the streets. So, surprise, surprise, let's go. Black Nation. It's too easy. It's too easy. It's too ah. easy. It's too easy. Okay. Yes. It's too Alpha easy. Sec. Alpha sec. Oh God, it's Major League. Uh, our weekly show. Ashley meets interior architecture with Crime Obsession. Fasteners brings you urban expression of the youth culture. Conversations driven by the love of music with your girl Q. Then get front row seats and zoom into our adventures on Thursdays. Don't miss our weekly updates. We are Black Nation. Pop political. Alright, so you see how we hook it up. We just serve it for and like hook you up with some awesome people. We put you on some good content. Yay. And um, yeah, so right now I think I'm going to hook some and uh, get into the studio interview and today I am hanging out with Laser Beam HD Welcome to Sick in Tune with right. myself Q I love you <laughs> um, You are an entrepreneur, you're a musician, you're a producer, you're a student you know, you're quite substantial, you're doing stuff so I want to know about Laser Beam where he's from you know, who is he and where is he from? Laser Beam. Laser Beam is uh, more of an alti. Okay. Uh, music, I started it when I was around 15, 16. Mm -hmm. I started it because, okay, it's a typical story of everyone getting, you know, everyone has free to groups on the computer at some point. It's almost at like a game. At some point, yeah. You know, it's almost it's like, like Pac-Man. Yeah, it's like Pac-Man until you actually get into it. Yeah. Some people really just go further and then some people are like, I try it, but you know, I can't do it, you know. So it was more of an escape for me and I was really interested in it. Yeah. I looked up to a lot of you know, international acts, so I just tried it. You know, he was really my, you know, or Wayne, I mean, every team. I should hope not. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like that, so, yeah. yeah. Um, these are the things that come to Um, I had to like learn everything myself in terms of production. Yeah. And I started recording. And yeah, my brother helped me get my recording equipment and monitor. And yeah, that's when things started. 
So tell me a bit about like the name itself, Laser Beam HD. What does that name mean? The whole Laser Beam concept, I've always wanted to be different. And I've always broken over the rules of music. You know, I've worked with people that have going to maybe sound school, sound engineering school. And sometimes when they listen to my music or on my camera in terms of practicing, uh, they, they will tell me there's too much reverb, there's too much, it's too much this, it's too much that. Drop the snare, drop the kick, you know, it's too high. And I feel like, nah, it feels right to me, you know. I just feel like music, if it feels right, then it is right. And that's where you find your unique uh, thing, because no one can tell you how to sound. So is that what the name references? It's just being different. Laser beam meaning I was always into like sounds that aren't used by everyone. You know? So it's just the laser beam concept just fits well with my character. I was on Okay, so I jammed your music. It's very nice, it's very sensual. It's my argument was first this music does not reflect SA. I'm really into homegrown music, but I felt like when I listened to the music, it had a very sort of international sound. Almost referencing, the first person I thought was Drake, then I was like, okay, no, but let's take it further. Then the weekend, I go shit, honey. So, is that the direction? Are those the people that you sort of study? And are you okay with people identifying that the first time when they listen to your music? You know what, like, if you look at the references that you're actually talking about, such as Drake, um, Everyone is kind of doing the same thing, you know, in terms of maybe you just heard the echo that they keep using, kind of make you feel like it sounds like it. I do get that all the time, you know, people say, oh, it's a different look. I don't like that. I want people to actually say, oh, it sounds like they you know? But right now, I'm just happy that they're using those kind of references. Okay. Because I don't think you fall short in terms of vocal ability, production, the technicalities of the quality of the music. I think if, 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 if we were to compare you, we compare you at the same level, if we take away the fact that you still have to come up. But the product itself, I think, isn't inferior. And so I think that's a good thing, you know what I mean? I literally failed like two years of school. You know, failed? Doing my assignments and stuff to practice that. Yeah. So it was really a sacrifice. Yeah. Like more than like every day trying to listen and meeting people and stuff. So like right now even my inner circle, um, I know the guy uh, that produced Drunk in Love. You know? Yeah. Those are the people like that. That guy is actually Brown. sorry. So, same yeah, guy he's so he's so um like he's not up here like oh, I produced the hit singer for Beyonce. He's actually really in touch with up and coming. He he's very global and he's very how we met like yeah. my mentor um, uh, introduced me to him. Yeah. I mean, we all the same guy. My dad is from well, my mother really? is so too. So Wait. that's how why I'm in South Africa. So so too is from Zim. Okay. So I uh, we went and at that common ground and I realized like his crew, um Soko is part of they call themselves the order, three producers. Soko and some other two that are new and another guy. Yeah. They produce tap out, three factory, city factory. Yeah. So they dwell in South Africa. Yeah. In terms of they have like VIP Yeah, the five. You know, so they like up there. And in terms of them knowing them, uh, he he like approached me with that thing of me. I like your beats because literally I haven't missed the opportunity. Maybe Azalea wanted beats for a new album, which is it's really out there. But I was like too late to send my email. So it's that kind of stuff. Yeah. So I'm really just trying to aim for that although I'm not here. Okay. So that's why, that's where I think that answers the side of um, yeah. the African roots in my yeah. I try to use a universal language, but you will hear some African things. I have a song. I just gave you this like, for taste. I don't want to taste, I want to eat! I yeah. <laughs> want to eat that music! You know. Stop, stop giving me orders. I want this main horse. Mm. I want a moose bush. Ninety nine percent of your album was produced by you. Was that for a creative purpose? Was that for a business purpose? Like, what was the motive behind you doing that? Um, before I saw the business side of it, I actually just I'm very choosy when it comes to production. 
that change and what I want to change. So, I feel like it's a lot of artists struggle in that department because like instead of what the producer likes rather than what he wanted to change, the producer said, it sounds crazy like you can't do something. That goes back to the version of the future. So it's not, a lot of artists don't have that way in control of everything, yeah. every sound, everything. So I'm all about that. I'm all about control and I'm very truthful. So that's why on the business side, now a lot of people have been coming to me. I want your feel. So I'm happy that people like my feel. Crazy the fans. Yeah. Let's look at the entire hip hop space. Right? Not you know, continuously as well. I think I like what they're doing up, you know, up North Africa. So, um, yeah, who would, you, who, would, who would you get that thing from? Yeah, like, I mean, I have two leading guys, which we are in the Both have a very, very, they have their own strategies, they have their own methods. And I can really learn about them because they have really gone along with in a very short period of time. Uh, not short so Maybe they've been under the ground or whatever, but they have popped up and it's so it's really worked. The only thing I'm concerned about now is sustainability in the brand. I think I think that underground sort of dynamic will create that, that sustainability. I think you can come easy go. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, I respect the two. Very good. I mean, doing your thing. Everyone has a disadvantage. Okay. Otherwise, um, I look at people like you know, the bunch who's done very well in his time in Africa. He really was doing it. He deserved everything that he is reaping now. So, what are you currently working on, and what can we expect from you moving forward? Uh, right now, uh, I'm about to drop my EP, Cold Sunset, um, and uh, the first video to the EP, what? a song called Pop and Blood, which is uh, the first song that I've released right now. Okay. The first, I think that's what you saw last time. I'm sorry. Well, I'm joking. Um, I mean, you're an up-and-coming act. Have you sort of gotten any support from people who are in the game? Do you see yourself getting support from people who are actually in the industry right now? Um, I don't really care about that. But um, we'll have to see because I've never really received insight. Okay. I've seen that, yeah. I mean, everyone around would say, well, it's too good. I haven't really got into the stage where people or like industry people are talking about it. You're like on the road to success. What is important to you right now at this stage in your life? What's really important to me is uh, finally doing what I've been trying to do and the right way. I'm glad I'm not tied into any company right now anything like that. Uh, people can get a hold of me on every social network. Any social, such as Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, I have pages on all of them, and it's just straightforward. There's a big page to those spaces and between small letters, and you'll find them. Otherwise, you have to, uh, on Twitter, on my bio, there's an email address. Or on every page, I should use an email address to my company, management company, and they can it for Empire. Or you could email it and you can book it. Thank you for having me on the show. Let's be great, man. Let's be great. <laughs> Stand it. Oh, baby. Oh. And we come to the end. Yeah. But now the dope episode of Sink in Tune with myself, Kion Vocals. So yeah, man, don't forget to come together through melody. Let's create. Let's be great. Let's make money. And uh, dictate, yo. Let's do our thing. Black Nation. Hey. I think you're ready. I gotta prove that I'm 